Hello again, and welcome back to Algebra 1-2, where we discuss topics in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and additional mathematics. Today's topic, simplifying algebraic fractions, and we are going to be looking specifically at, at how to add and subtract algebraic fractions. So that is our objective for today. Before we get into our addition and subtraction, we want to take a little look at technique. Now, here we have two fractions, 3 over 15 plus 8 over 15, and what we want to do is to add these two together. So, um, because notice here, these two fractions have the same denominator. Because they have the same denominator, we can just go ahead and combine their numerators, which, are, which is 3 and 8. So, our solution to 3 over 15 plus 8 over 15 becomes, quite simply, 3 plus 8 over 15. And in general, well, that will give us 11 over 15. And in general, if two fractions have the same denominator, you can just go ahead and add or subtract the numerators. So that is quite easy. Here we have two fractions now that have different denominators, 5 and 7. And in order to add them and to make proper sense of them, we need them to have the same denominator. Now, how can we do this? There are two simple ways that we can use to get the answer for this question. First way is to rename our fractions so that they have the same denominator. And one way in which we can do this is to take this denominator of 7 here and multiply the numerator and the denominator of that fraction, 2 over 5. Also, to take this 5, which is the denominator of this fraction, and multiply these two. And once we do that, we realize that we get two other fractions which are equivalent that have denominators of 35. So 7 times 2 here gives us 14. So that's 14 over 35. Plus 3 times 5 here gives us 15 over 7 times 5, which is 35. And notice now that they both have the same denominator. And because they do, we can simply go ahead and add our numerators. So we have 14 plus 15 which gives us over 35, which gives us um, 29 over 35. So that's one way. Another way, we have 2 over 5. Let me just write that in a different ink so it's distinguishable. So we have 2 over 5 plus 3 over 7. And what we can do here is to simply multiply. We take this 7, multiply this denominator 7, multiply that numerator, Take this denominator here, multiply that numerator. So we have 7 times 2 plus 5 times 3. And all of that over 7 times 5. So we kind of do this. We, we go 7 times 2, then 5 times 3 over 7 times 5. And as you notice, you'll realize that 7 times 2 here gives you a 14. 5 times 3 here gives you a 15 and over 35, and as you realize here, you get your 29 over 35, which is exactly what we got here when we renamed the fractions. So these are two important methods that you can use when you're working with fractions like these, and we will apply these two methods to our algebraic fractions. Now let's jump into the algebraic fractions themselves. Here we have 3p over 2 plus p over q, and what we want to do is to express this as a single fraction, meaning we want one fraction for our answer. Now, I'm going to use the renaming method first. So I'm going to multiply this fraction 3p over 2 by q. Let me write it out first. 3p over 2 plus p over q. And I'm going to be writing them, wrong q. I'm going to be writing them over, I'm going to be using this q to multiply here and here and this 2 to multiply here and here. And what this will give me is 3pq over 2q plus 2p over 2q. And here we have them with the same denominator, and we can just go ahead and add our numerators, which is just to say 3pq plus 2p over 2q. And that is our answer. We can simplify the numerator a little bit, but I'm going to leave it as that. Now, remember the other method. Other method would say 3p over 2 plus p over q. And what we're going to do here is to multiply the numerator times denominator. 
numerator times denominator and numer denominator times denominator here. So we would have here 3PQ plus 2P and over 2Q. And it's it works out a bit faster than this, as you can see. So whichever method you prefer to use, um, both are legal methods that you can use. It's just that with this method, sometimes you may have to end up simplifying your answer a bit, while with this method, the answer comes out as simple as possible. All right, let's take a look at this one. So here we have 2x plus 3 over 5 minus x plus 2 over 3. And we're going to use the method of um, renaming the fractions. So we have 2x plus 3 over 5 minus x, x plus 2 over 3. And we're going to rename it by taking this 3 and multiplying numerator and denominator. And taking this 5 and multiplying numerator and denominator. So here now, we're going to have in our numerator, 2 times, oh sorry, that's not 2, that's 3, 3 times in bracket, 2x plus 3 minus 5 times x plus 2, all over 3 times 5, which is 15. Now let's multiply this out. 3 times 2x here gives us a 6x. 3 times 3 here gives us 9. 5 times x, as a minus 5 times x, gives us a minus 5x. And minus 5 times 2 gives us a minus 10. All of that over 15. And doing some addition and subtraction here, we have a 6x take away 5x. That leaves us with x. And a 9 take away 10 gives us a negative 1 and over 15. And that is our result. We have simplified. We have written it as a single fraction. Let's take a look at another example here using the same method. 2 times 2 over x minus 1 minus 3 over x plus 1. Using the same method again, we can rename our fractions. So we are going to take this denominator here and multiply this. So we're going to have 2 times x plus 1 over x minus 1 times x plus 1 minus, use this denominator to multiply this. So we're going to have 3 times x minus 1 over x plus 1, x minus 1. Of course, you could use the other method and work it out a bit faster. So here we know we're going to have 2x in the numerator plus 2 minus 3 times x, which is 3x. And a minus 3 times a minus 1 there gives us a plus 3. And all of that over x minus 1, x plus 1. When we're doing these questions, it's not necessary to simplify your denominator. So you can just leave it as is. But we definitely need to simplify the numerator. So we're going to have 2x here, take away 3x. That leaves us with a minus x. And 2 plus 3 here gives us 5. And that is our result. x minus 1 x plus 1. Let's try another example. Here we have a, a fraction with um, um, a quadratic denominator. So we have x squared minus 1. And here we have x minus 1. So we have 4 over x minus 1 minus 3 over x squared minus 1. Now, x squared minus 1 is actually equal to x plus 1 times x minus 1 when you multiply that out. So as you see, this um, denominator actually contains this. So our denominator is actually, um, our full denominator is actually x plus 1, x minus 1. So to rename it and make it, make both of them have the same denominator, we simply need to multiply this by x minus 1, or x plus 1 rather. And if we multiply this by x plus 1, then it becomes the same as x squared minus 1. So now, what we have in our numerator is 4 times x plus 1 over x squared minus 1 minus 3 over x squared minus 1. And now that they have the same denominator, we can simply go ahead and subtract our numerators. So 4, time, four times x here gives us 4x. 4 times 1 gives us a 4 minus 3 
all of that over x square. Let's write that a bit better. x square minus 1. And so our final answer becomes 4x plus 1 over x square minus 1. Or you could write this as um, 4x plus 1 over x plus 1, x minus 1. Because this is actually equal to this. Let's take a look at one more example. So here we want to simplify this and write it as one fraction. So we're going to write it down using the other method where we must multiply denominator times numerator, denominator times numerator. So we're just going to go that way. This times this, this times this, and this times this. So we're going to write it out as saying x multiplied by x squared plus 1 plus 2x multiplied by 2x minus 3 and all of that over these two together 2x minus 3 times x squared plus 1. Now remember that you don't have to multiply out the denominator you can simply leave it as it is with the brackets. All right, and what does that give us now? X times X squared, you'll remember that that can give you that gives you X to the third, plus X times 1 is X, over 2X times 2X gives you a 4X squared, and 2X times minus 3 gives you a minus 6X. All of that over 2X minus 3, and X squared plus 1. And now we can simplify the top. Notice we have an x to the third power here. And there's an x here and a minus 6. We can combine those two to give us minus 5x and plus 4x squared. All of that over 2x minus 3 times x squared plus 1. That's our answer right there. And that is how we go about adding and subtracting two algebraic fractions. Now that you've seen how it's done, remember to practice these skills until you master them. It will take, so probably take, take a bit of practice for some persons to do it, but find questions, practice, practice, practice until you have mastered it. And of course, if you haven't subscribed as yet, please remember to do so. And of course, thank you always for watching.